So start out just lying down completely flat on your back. Timer. And if while lying down on your back, if your back feels at all cranky, feel free to lift your knees and set your feet down flat. That can feel very nice to release the back. If not, just lie flat and notice how you're feeling today. Check your baseline. Gently move your head from left to right, side to side. Notice if you're holding any tension in your neck or shoulders. Check in with your shoulders. Is one shoulder making more contact with the ground than the other? Travel down to your hips. Just notice how your hips are landing on the ground today. Send your attention to your hands and your feet. Notice how they're making contact with the ground today. No judgment, just noticing. And let your breath travel throughout your body. Sometimes we can block our breath and keep it up into our chest. Let it flow all through your body. Take a moment to think about your intention for today, for today's practice. If there's anything that you like to think about, to focus on, that's fine. Or if there's a way that you'd like to approach the day, just note that. Now, if you haven't already, then raise your knees and flatten your feet down onto the ground. Comfortable place. And we'll start with a very gentle arch and flex of the spine, which will start from our pelvis. So as you inhale with into your belly, tilt your pelvis forward a bit. And as you exhale, tilt your pelvis toward your belly so that your spine comes down onto the ground, toward the ground. And just arch and flex with your breath for a few rounds at your own pace. And notice how it's moving through your body. Notice if there's any jerkiness or jumpiness. If so, just slow down. Try to smooth out the breath. Now on your next inhale up, raise your toes up and your knees might come out a bit. And on your exhale, just flatten your toes down onto the ground. Doesn't need to be hard, just on the inhales, raise the toes as you arch. As you exhale, flatten your toes down. As you tilt your pelvis forward, Toward your belly and keep going a few more rounds. Now we're going to get the arms into it. So as you inhale, 
Roll your arms outward, palms face up. Knees come out, toes up. And exhale, then roll your palms down, toes down. And spine down. Inhale up. And exhale down. This move is called flower and somatics. So you're opening out from your belly button, closing back in like a flower. And on your next exhale, your arms down by your side. Just relax for a, for a breath. And on your next inhale, we'll raise our arms up overhead as far as is comfortable for you. And then exhale back down by your side. Keep going with your own breath. Inhale up and exhale down. And if it feels comfortable, you can bring your arms all the way up overhead to tap. If not, then just head to wherever's comfortable and then exhale back down. I'm exploring uh, something happening on my left shoulder. So I'm not going all the way because I'm Noticing how it feels in my shoulder as I raise up. Exhale down. Whatever feels good for you, keep going. And on your next inhale, you can leave your arms up or down, whichever is comfortable for you. And straighten your right leg out long. Take a big inhale to your belly. And then as you exhale, raise your right leg up to the sky. Go down. And exhale up. Keep going with your own breath. Next inhale down, that leg out long, and switch legs. So raise your right knee and lower your left leg out long. Take a big inhale. And then exhale your left leg up to the sky. Go down. And exhale up. Keep going with your own breath. And bring your foot down, flatten it down onto the ground. And 
bring your knees up to your chest and rack your, wrap your arms either around the backs of your thighs or the fronts of your shins and rock from side to side. Hug your head towards your knees. Hug in tight for a moment. And then open out with your arms out to either side. Straight out from your shoulders. Keep your knees up with your shins parallel to the ground. And your arms out to either side can be palms up or palms down, whichever you prefer. And take a big inhale. And wait, no. Exhale, your spine down to the ground. And then in, as you inhale, bring your knees over to one side. And exhale, knees back to center. Inhale up to the other side. And inhale. Right, exhale, knees back to center. <laughs> And keep going, inhale over and exhale back to center. Keep going with your own breath. Two more rounds. Your next inhale over to the side. Let your knees stay on that side for a few breaths. And you can prop up your knee as much as you need to so that you can find a nice balance between your opposite shoulder melting toward the ground and your knee melting toward the ground. So actually lift your knee up as far as you need to so that you don't feel any tugging on your shoulder or your hip. And then gently bring your knee back down toward the ground. And as soon as you start to feel any sensation on your hip or your shoulder, then play with the balance. Find a balance between your knee, your hip, and your shoulder. And if you're not feeling any sensation, sensation with that at all that you can raise your raise your knee up and down and notice how that feels and with each exhale just melt a bit more exhale completely as you bring your arms out to either side Inhale and then exhale your knees back to center and inhale them over to the other side where you again can play with that balance. Prop your upper knee up as much as needed to again find that place where you don't feel any, any sensation in the shoulder or the hip or the knee. And then lower the knee down. You can find that balance. And melt with each exhale. And smile. Now bring your arms out to either side. Take a big inhale. 
inhale, then exhale your knees back to center. And hug your knees into your chest. And rock from side to side. Side to side. And cup your knees onto, cup your, <laughs> take your hands and cup your palms on your kneecaps and make five gentle circles in one direction with your knees. Five circles in one direction, nice and slow. And then five circles in the opposite direction. And now place flat on your feet back down on the ground. And we'll do some moving bridge. So get nice and flat onto the ground. Knees up, feet flat, arms down by your side. On your next inhale, we're going to raise our arms up as we raise our hips up. And your arms can go as, as far as you're comfortable with, similar to what we did earlier with arm raises. So on your next inhale, raise your hips and arms up to the sky. And exhale back down to the ground. Inhale up. And exhale down. And keep going for a few more rounds with your own breath. And on your next inhale, raise on up and stay up for a few moments. And notice how you're feeling. Notice how you're being held by your back body. Exhale everything back down to the ground. And with your arms down by your side, on your next inhale, raise just your hips up, keeping your arms down by your side. And notice how this feels. Press the back of your head toward the ground. Just notice how your breath flows through your body in this shape. And exhale everything back down to the ground. Raise your knees up. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock from side to side. Come to stillness and bring your knees in. Hug your knees into your, your head, into your knees. Become as small as you possibly can. As small of a you as you can be and then raise arms and legs out to all four corners and become as large of a starfish human being as you possibly can shining out in all five directions the tip of your head the tips of your toes and fingers 
And then relax, just melt your jellyfish. Melt, make a starfish into a jellyfish. And notice how that feels. I just got a slight cramping in my left hip. So notice how you're feeling and send your breath to anywhere you're feeling sensation as you melt into the ground and float on your breath. Bring everything back in for Shavasana. Arms and legs down. You can put a bolster underneath your knees if you like that. And just settle in for three rounds of square breathing and a moment of Shavasana. Might want a sip of water, grab an eye pillow if you like that. Do whatever you like to feel comfortable for a few moments of stillness. And you found that stillness, just steadiness. Exhale completely. And inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, Hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, Three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and release to your natural breathing for another moment. As thoughts rise up, just let them go. Acknowledge the thoughts and let them go on their way. It's a natural process for thoughts to arise when you're resting in stillness. And as usual, I wish we had more time. If you are, if this is a recording, feel free to take as long as you'd like in Shavasana. And if you have places to go, things to do, then start wiggling your fingers and toes. Move your wrists and ankles in one direction and then in the opposite direction. Bring your knees up to your chest and rock from side to side, side to side. Release one arm overhead and with your eyes still closed and your knees up, roll in that direction and rest for a moment and think back to your intention and think about how you want to show up for the rest of today. Press your hands into the ground and push yourself up to a comfortable seat. 
And press your hands together at your heart and bow your head to thank yourself for taking this time to connect your mind to your body, to your breath and your spirit. The light in me celebrates the light in you. Namaste.